Do you guys want to know what are the benefits of being a non-member in Prodigy or what you can do in Prodigy as a non-member? Well, if you do, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and watch the video, right? So, drop this video a like as well. Don't forget that, okay? Let's see. What can non-members achieve in Prodigy? By one Dr. Genius, the one and only. Right, so these are just some of the things you will find in this presentation. Right, some of these. And the most important thing is that you can do math without having to pay. Right, you can do all the places without having to pay. Now number one, I present to you. We can unlock all of the gems by that, I mean these um, gems, things over here, you see these, which the red circle is going around, yeah. You can unlock every single one of these, the Firefly Gem, uh, Shipwreck, Shipwreck Shore, Shiver Chill Mountain, Skywatch, and Bonfire's Fire Gem. Yeah, you can unlock all of these gems completely for free. All you have to do is complete the quests that the Wardens give you, right? And then the other thing is, you can unlock every single spell and equip them. You know why? Because look at this. Right, none of these have a member symbol on them. One. Two, you earn these by completing quests for... F you earn these by completing quests for the wardens. For example, in this you have to complete quests for for Slimy, Skippy, whatever their name is. In this... Is this the ice? In this you have to complete quests for Bok. In this you have to complete quests for those two sisters who live in Skywatch. And you can unlock these three by beating Barnacle Cove and that stuff. Yeah, you can get all of these spell rings and you can get all of these relic rings which help you cast spells for free. You just have to complete the quest, like I said. Next is... We can complete all quests. As you know, here you go. You can complete all quests from all sorts of places. Right? Completely free. You don't need to pay money. Like I said, before I had membership on my non-member account, I completed all of these places without membership, got the gems, and was able to complete the entire thing, okay? Alright, so it's completely free, easy, and fun to do. Next, what do we have? We can go to the Earth Tower, right? So if you guys have gotten yourself the Firefly gem and are above, if you guys are above level 10, then I think you have access to the Academy. If you guys have gotten the Firefly Gem and you're somewhere around level 15, you can place it on the pedestal and go to the Firefly Tower. As you can see, this is on a my alt account. Well, not my alt account, it's my sister's account. Don't tell her that I've been hacking her account, okay? But yeah, here I'm on my sister's account and I'm in the Earth Tower. And as you guys can see, yeah, we're sitting outside of it, placed on the Warden and we have access. Next, we can catch 10 pets in Prodigy 1. This isn't too much, but still, it's a decent amount of pets, meaning you can get two pets from every place. I mean, you could have a good battle team. Still sufficient, but if you want to co collect every single pet, you'll probably need membership for that. But still, this is sufficient because we can have two thunder pets, two ice pets, two water, two fire pets, and they'll make a good team. Right, so basically you can catch pets and you can catch them of any level as well. Here you can see there's a seven, level 73 one. I once caught a level 100 pet and more, okay? Once you've achieved catch 10 pets, you can still buy other pets and get yourself more pets, right? So let's suppose you go to the merchant and you have enough shiverlings or hot hots or fireflies, whatever it's called. If you have enough of those, you can still buy the pet and get yourself it, right? So next we have we are capable of doing bounties. Non-members can do bounties and achieve a hundred bounty points, right? We can only do the one point bounties, but still, after doing a hundred one point bounties, you'll be at a hundred. Sure, it might be faster if you're able to do two or three point bounties, but still, that's for membership. But yeah, with, with one point bounties, you can still reach a far distance. And if you guys want to know what we can buy from this, well, keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm back into my member account. We want to check on the bounty board and see what we can get and not to get, okay? Right, let's head over there. So if we click on Bordy, we can see that he tells us to go to the shop. 
if we go to the shop, everyone can buy fireworks for free for five bounties. For 20 bounties, you can buy this for free. Yeah, you can buy everything from the shop for free. You don't need membership to buy anything from the from Bordy shop. So if you want another way to get um, eight heart healing clothes and prodigy, well, you can get it from Bordy, okay? Right, plus the wands aren't that bad. They're also good, but you'd have to do a hundred bounty battles. And trust me, that's not that easy, okay? Right, so let's head back to the presentation right and now we can do quests from the merchants and earn stuff like suppose this one we know that the firefly merchant is there right we know about the firefly merchant if we get a hundred fireflies and give it to him he will award us with the following he will award us with this bee hats bee suits bee wand and yeah that's what he'll award us with Right, so you see that next we have is the miner over here, right? You see this guy? He gives us quest. For this guy's quest, we have to find frozen something blocks in Prodigy, which are found in Shiverchill Mountain. We have to get them, go to the furnace, smelt the blocks in the furnace, and if you don't have everything unlocked, you won't be able to, I think you won't be able to do this, but make sure you have all your furnaces turned on. And once you collect frozen something blocks, what you do, is you go to your furnaces, you toss the blocks into the furnaces, and once the block melts, it will either give you an ice crystal, a power crystal, salads, or feathers and other stuff, right? So from that, if you earn those power crystals, what you do is you keep on storing your power crystals and go to the miner and give and show him that. And then from that, the miner will give you the following objects. If you have 25 power crystals, he will give you the frozen crown. You can see it over here. If you have um, 50 of them, he'll give you the glacier ward, which is a robe, and you can see it over here. If you got 75, he'll give you a wand, and if you got 100, he'll give you another helmet. Yes, two helmets. That is what everyone needs, right? Let's go to the next one. And for his first quest, he'll give you a firework. Wait, that might be incorrect, but okay. Next thing is we can buy everything from Maka. Macha, however you pronounce the name. Now you guys might be wondering, you might be wondering, who is this Macha, or however you pronounce the name? Well, let me just show you, Amalia. And now let's go to, if you guys have ever opened the map, I'm sure you would have seen this island. This island is known as Epic Subspace. Click on it, you don't need to be a member to travel there, just travel there, right? Then over here, you see this person named Macha. I think that's a pronunciation, don't well, don't annoy me with the pronunciation, right? So if you click on her, you'll say, Welcome to Wandering Wares. We specialize in ancient artifacts or powerful wizards, but I'm not interested in gold. If you find any old copper co coins, I'll gladly trade for them. Right, so you earn old copper coins which you can get through battles. Once you've gotten this, you can go to her shop and buy everything. There is no limit to this because this is all made for non-members and members right so you can buy them and you see that you can earn these relic copper coins from battles okay right you guys saw that we can basically earn everything so let's switch our slides and now you can get nicknames from particular zones so let's say you've completed the quest to like barnacle cove or shiver chill mountain well then once you've done that what you can do is you can unlock these nicknames now for these nicknames, there's some special criteria. For example, in the Barnacle Cove, in the Barnacle Shipwreck Shore nickname, you see this one which says Buccaneer Rose? Well, we can't unlock that yet, because we have to catch certain pets to unlock these nicknames. But yeah, you guys can have zone nicknames specific to uh, one area, right? So here we have Cole Walker Allen, and by the name we can guess that it means Bonfire Spire, and if you look over here, Walker Allen, right? So let's head to and so we can take part of the monthly player versus player arena. Basically, these are the challenges in which you battle other players live and you do cast spells. Though there is one downside of this, people kind of make you wait for a while so you rage quit. But yeah, other than that, this is completely free. You can unlock all the items, and as far as I know, none of them are member items. Yeah, none of them are member items. 
Next we have is, you might have battled the Titan. It's this big, giant, monstrous lion, which is seen in Prodigy. We all know what it looks like. And yeah, you've probably already read the mail if you're level 10 in Prodigy. But once you battle the Titan, you earn Titan shards. Now from these Titan shards, we buy stuff from Harvey. You see this? This is Harvey. I'm in my non-member account, Cold Locker Allen, and we click on Harvey. We see that we can buy all the robes, hats, items to decorate our house, wands, and even the shoes for free, right? No membership required to buy these, meaning you can decorate your small house with this. And speaking of houses, we can buy three different types of houses. Sure, they all may be small, but still, each one has a little bit more room, right? So let's suppose we buy a house, you can also decorate it. I mean, this decoration, it works as a modest living, okay, right? We got that done. And next, we have the dance place. Some players in Prodigy might not be even aware of what in the world is this dance place. Is this from some different game? No, this is from Prodigy. As you guys can see over here, as you guys, you might be wondering. Okay, I'm gonna start to slide over. Speaking of houses, do you know you can dance in Prodigy? Well, everyone can do it, members and non-members. You see over here, this is my non-member account down here. If you look at the picture, you can see Cole Walker Allen's outside this dancing arena with dices and golds on it, right? And over here, what you guys have to do is you have to click it on the door. It will take you and there will be this guy named Boombox who will talk to you. Just keep, click next until you get the robot. Pay 200 gold and then you get to dance. The better you dance, meaning the better you click these cards, the more gears you earn. The more gears you earn, the more levels you get. Let me just show you. Now we're into Prodigy. Let's go to Lamplight Town. Let's head over here. Down. Across. And into the dance arena it says start higher levels more gears right so you can participate on level one to five now if you're a beginner you'll start a level one if you've played once you'll start a level one if you played twice you start a level you will go to level two but you can still go to level one. like how i've played more than five times i have all levels available to me so let's just give you a demo at level three okay so right, ready to start robo dancing, it will cost you 200 gold, right? So you click that, click none, and yeah. Red. So there are specific things in this which you can get as a member, but these boosts are kind of useless, to be honest. They just help you get more gears. And But still, this is a nice place. It kind of changes mostly what you do in Prodigy, because... When you think of Prodigy, you think of math. You don't think of robots dancing. But this is pretty cool, right? So let's just give a quick demo. Let's see if I can get a perfect score, okay? So we've gotten that correct. Let's see, yellow. Honestly, in this, you can just match the color. You don't even have to look at the photos. You just have to match the color, right? So this is how I do it, purple, purple. And as you can see, my gear score is up in the right hand and my best is on the right hand side and my gear scores on the left hand side and this is how many gears or what you have done uh okay i need to stop talking right so i need to get back you clearly saw this drop on the side okay okay let's see if we can get it back up red no we just reached two great moves let's see how many gears i earned right that my tky4 is at the highest level and I have to try to beat my friend's high score. So I can't level up anymore. Okay. Right? So we can't level up past level 10. But still, this is a good game. And we get some gold out of it. Right? Let's see. I completed my goal. Right? I completed my question goal in Prodigy. I should get my reward soon. Right? And Serbia has a question for us. Let's see. Also, another thing is you guys can easily... Do questions from survey non-members and members both opinions are taken because it's to better prodigy we are changing the name of the prodigy academy how does that make you feel prodigy academy 
what are they going to do? I mean, the academy is okay, but I mean, a new name. I want to see what they'll name it. So like, I like it, okay? But they're still asking us, and doing service quests will get you food, so that's an upside. So you want to do service quests, okay? Now, right, we can buy all the wands from the wand shop, almost. I think we can buy all of the wands, as you guys see here. You guys can see that none of the wands just showed on this slide are for members. Let's just check quickly on it. Right, so let's go to the wand shop. We already know where this place is, so we can easily locate our way to the wand shop. Right, we look over here and boom, this is the wand shop. We go inside and look. Look. Right, you can buy easily every single wand here which you want without being a member in Prodigy. So that's one thing. Right, so apart from this, what you guys can do is you can change your looks for free in Prodigy, right? So if you go to change looks, the only things which cost member are the hairstyles. Only three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only a few hairstyles cost membership in Prodigy. But other than that, all the, almost all the eye colors and and hair color is free. But you guys can easily change whatever you want in Prodigy. And most of this doesn't require membership. So yeah, you can change your character looks. You can equip ran different types of armor, almost everything. And you can catch almost every single pet in Prodigy. But there are a few pets which are only made for members. But yeah, that's all the things which non-members can do in Prodigy. And if you want a quick overview, just watch the presentation again, okay? Okay guys, that's it for this video. Obviously, it's information, so it will be sort of informational on what non-members can do in Prodigy and feel like you don't need membership. But yeah, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in my next video. One Dr. Genius out.